I'm going to show you how to register for iZone Worldwide so you can control your air conditioning system from anywhere in the world. Starting at the home page, the first thing we need is the system ID number. To find this number, press the system reset button on the underside of the touch screen. Touch the screen to display the system initialization. You can see at the top right hand side the system ID number. Write it down as you will need this ID number to register your system on iZone Worldwide. Next, hop onto your computer and log on to the iZone website. Scroll down to the bottom of the home page and click on Worldwide. Fill in the sign up form with your title, first name, last name, email address, password and confirm your password. Click on the privacy policy and terms and conditions and once you have read them you can go back to the sign up form and click on the box to indicate you have accepted the Airstream privacy policy and terms and conditions. Enter your address, suburb, state and postcode. At device 1, enter your system ID that you wrote down previously and put in a description of the system. I'm going to call mine Home Aircon System. If you have two or more iZone systems at home, you can add the other devices here or if you have an iZone system at work, you can include it here too. Click the sign up button. Let's test it to make sure it's all working correctly. You don't want to operate through Wi-Fi, so switch off your Wi-Fi so you are just running through 3 or 4G. Open the app. You will see your system is not shown at the top of the screen as it is when you're in the Wi-Fi area. Press the iZone Worldwide Login. At Login, type in your email address, the one you put on your registration form. Next, type in the password you put on the registration form. It's a good idea to now press login and remember me, so you don't have to input all this information every time you want to control your system away from home. And there's my system, so now I can control my iZone air conditioning system from anywhere in the world. Just bear in mind that changes via 4G can take up to 60 seconds to process, but that's not a big deal when you're in Fiji. That's it from me, see you next time.